Hi everyone, my name is Ashley. I'm a keeper here at Stone Zoo at Zoo, at Zoo New England. Um, I am going to give you guys a closer look at our poor cupette. Um, we come in, we are weighing her every day. Um, she was born May 23rd, so that puts her at about three weeks old. So I'm just going to come in here and kind of scoop up from behind. <laughs> so as the baby gets older, um, as you can see, um, she usually picks things up with her tail, but she is getting much stronger. So you might hear some small vocalizations from her while we do this. Try to get this stick away from her, maybe. Okay, so we'll just go over here and then we'll try to get the stick. Okay, so this is our little weighing station. Um, we use a bucket because she is moving around a lot. It's quite difficult if you use um, something that's flat, she'll kind of crawl out. <laughs> get the stick away. Take this off for a second. And while you're doing that, do we take these weights every single day for her? Yes, so we do weights daily. Um, we want to monitor how much growth there is, um, and that kind of gives us a good indicator of um, if the baby is nursing overnight. Um, so at this three week mark, I would say from the first, from birth to about the second week, the baby has doubled in size. Um, this weight here includes the bucket because the scale shut off, but I'll subtract that afterwards. So pretty comfortable in there. I'm just gonna write that down. We had a question about um how long until she is fully grown? Uh, usually around the six month mark. Um, and the baby looks already, I would say, pretty different. <laughs> so there are some of those vocalizations. And you'll see, this is what we do daily. We pick up the bucket, but um, you can also see the quills are getting longer. Um, they do come off in the gloves quite a bit now. They're pretty long. Um, whereas at birth, they were like very small, kind of like hair-like almost. Um, so we're looking very different already. Is she born with quills? She is born with quills. So they sort of look like, like a kiwi. Like they've got this fuzz that you can still see, but the quills are most definitely under there. And is she in here with both of her parents? So she is right now, she is in here with mom only, Prickles. Um, the males are separated for probably at least the first six months. <laughs> yep, so after weighing, um, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to put her back on the tree. seen the baby um, in either this location right here. I would say the first week um, the baby was up here and then slowly at like week two the baby was coming down to the feed platform which is right over here. Um, that's where we feed mom. So she was hanging out on the platform. Um, she climbed into the food bowl 
um, and we noticed that she was actually nibbling on some of the biscuits, um, which we have here, and also some sweet potato. So we can see. I haven't witnessed eating, but I think she's definitely interested in the smell. Can you remind us what the species name is? So this is the prehensile-tailed porcupine. And does she have an, a name yet that we're calling her? So she does not have a name yet. Um, we will be auctioning that off, the rights to name the baby, um, at our Wild Affairs fundraiser. And that auction opens on Monday? Yes. So I'd say there's some interest in the smell of the food, you know, and kind of some interest there, but not quite sure what to do yet. <laughs> and someone asked if they're endangered, the species. They are not endangered. Yeah, so mom kind of hangs out. Um, she usually stays away. Um, sometimes she will come over, like I mentioned, if there are some small vocalizations, she might kind of get curious and come over. I haven't noticed it as much as the baby is getting bigger and more mobile, but um, in the beginning, she would definitely come over and kind of check out and see what we were doing. Um, so we would kind of feed her some sweet potatoes at the same time. And when did you say the baby will start eating solid food usually? Now. Oh. <laughs> I would say around now. So the interest in the biscuits, and like I said, um, we've seen some nibbling on sweet potatoes and these biscuits, so it should start happening any time now. Who are those noises in the background that we're hearing? So those are our macaws. They are next door to us. Um, and they are, they can be quite loud, so often we will hear them. And a question that comes up a lot is if we do training with our animals. Do we train with the porcupine at all? Yes, so actually this baby here, this porcupine, we will start, eventually um, she will be too big, um, and the quills will become an issue. We won't be able to keep weighing in the bucket like we're doing now. Um, so we will start training her to go into a small crate um, and then we will kind of, we'll start weighing if we do it every day. So we'll do that daily, but we'll start using the crate. Do they get enrichment? They do, they get different types of enrichment. Um, usually for prickles, the mom, they can have like paper products. Um, she enjoys like if you make her a kebab with her favorite like sweet potato treats. They do sleep a lot during the day. Yes, they are nocturnal. Is there a certain time that you might recommend guests if they want to see them a little more active to stop by? Um, I guess I would say the later in the afternoon they might, you know, start to, to wake up. But we've definitely had, I know we've had night cams set up in the past, and they are very, very active at nighttime. She's in a certain spot, is she usually there for like most of the day? Yes, yes. Um, normally if I, if I place her back up here, I'll come back at the end of the day just to check on everybody and um, baby will still be right here. Seems pretty comfortable. Yeah, yeah, this is a great spot. Um, the guests can see her um, before she was kind of like wedging herself and hiding. So this is great, people can see her very well. Else you want to let people know about these guys or the baby before we sign off? Um, no, just that I hope everybody gets a chance to come and see. Um, you know, even from week to week, there are so many changes, and pretty soon she'll be almost full size. So I hope people get the chance to come and see um, while she's still small. All right, well, thank you.